young people, you made a mistake. They knew they made a mistake. Tonight we start with an exclusive story you'll only see here. Thanks for joining us tonight. It's a bizarre story that we have been investigating for almost a week out of Grand Forks. A viewer alerted us to a situation involving players on the Grand Forks Central Junior Varsity Baseball Team. A group of these young athletes participated in a sexual act with a sandwich and a bottle of Gatorade, while others took pictures and supposedly video. Valley News Team's Bradford Eric breaks down our investigation after talking with school officials today. Last Thursday was the first we heard rumors about the Grand Fork Central High School baseball team, supposedly putting bodily fluids onto a chicken sandwich and into a bottle of Gatorade, and then forcing other players on the team to consume it. We called the district and were directed to Associate Principal John Strandle, who only confirmed that, quote, players were suspended for an incident on a bus following the team's final game of the season. Strandle wouldn't go into detail but did say only six were suspended out of the 15 to 18 players on the bus at the time. Since then, numerous phone calls and emails have come in with more allegations of what actually happened. Simple Twitter searches began yielding results that basically confirmed the rumors. Bethany tweeted, moral of the story, boys are gross. Kyle tweeted, never been more disgusted in my life, followed by Jordan tweeting, never eating a McChicken again thanks to the classy JV boys smiley face. We called the district again. This time, they were willing to talk. Bottom line is some young people made mistakes. Central High Principal Buck Kasowski would not get into the specifics of what happened on the bus. The incident in question, uh, was it a, a, of a sexual nature at all? Well, that's, that's not something I can tell you. He did again confirm the three-day suspensions, which he says are standard for the district. Kasowski says disciplinary action did not end the team's season. Their season was over anyway, and they had just played their last game. Also, in our initial investigation, it was believed the players were forced into eating the sandwich and drinking the Gatorade. According to our investigation, that is not true. The furthest thing from the truth. I think that what they did was really gross, but um, they, I don't know, I guess it was their decision to do what they did. Miller says most of the students heard about what happened from other students and from social media and most were pretty disgusted. I know that if it were me, I don't know that I would be able to come back to Central. I think I would, like, just uh, having to face my peers again, I, I would probably go to a different school. That's what most of the students we talked to said as well. They were embarrassed and ashamed by what happened, concerned now about the reputation of Grand Fork Central students and the baseball program. Bradford Eric, Valley News Live. Valley News Live obtained a copy of the picture of the food in question. We've chosen not to show it to you. The Grand Forks Police Department say that the school has not reported the incident to them. They had no idea of the situation until we asked them about it. They also said since nobody was forced into the act, there was no real criminal element to it. However, they did say, depending on what is shown in the alleged pictures and videos of what happened, there could potentially be charges of distributing child pornography.